Oh, wow. Wow. Right. Oh, wow. So, old block Jackie's hood. Now, if you don't know who he is, he has his own blogging site. He is from old block, like his name say. Um, he actually changed his life and gave his life to Christ. Yes. But sometimes when people give their life to Christ, they talk a little bit too goddamn much. In my opinion, y'all. In my opinion. And, um, yeah, he's just telling these stories. Yeah. It seems like, um, he just doing too much for him to be trying to change his life, in my opinion. Or sometimes, you know, Christian realm, like, okay, you've been from the streets. You was a gang member. Excuse me, y'all. The air broke. We were working on it now to get fixed. But that's neither here nor there. I'm still going to deliver this shit. Just like uh, Old Block living in all this information after King Vaughn has passed. Now, I've never seen Old Block Jane in any setting with King Vaughn when he was here. But he sure acts like he's King Vaughn's best friend. King Vaughn said, hey, hey, man, look, I just knocked him off. I just knocked her off. I just knocked. You need to knock it off. You need to knock it off. See, a lot of people be, like, you could tell, uh, uh, you know how you could tell uh, a tree by its fruit? Yeah. He claims he changed his life. He's on the other path. But it seems like he um, hides behind being, oh, holier than thou, or I'm, I'm trying to teach these kids, I'm trying to do this, but still chasing clout with King Von stories. So, in this case, we have him talking about the K.I. situation. If you don't know K.I. is, her name was Kyra. What's her last name? I forgot her last name. But she supposed to be like the female assassin. Yeah, the nuisance of the woman. The one who uh, supposedly, well, I'll repeat her first. I'll repeat her. But she also supposed to be took O.D. Perry out. Yep. Um, he was with the BDs in Old Block, and that's why they need Old Block after them. I, I explained it to, to y'all in my uh, prior story. Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all give me that thumbs up. That's the like button. All you got to do is tap it. It ain't going to hurt your finger. Or subscribe to my channel. That way you get notifications every time I drop dear heart is off the press. Now here we go. Oh wow, and for TikTok and IG, hit the like button and follow. Whoa! Yeah. So, you know, after a guy, a little dude named Tuka got killed, the retaliation was they named it Tukaville, like two got killed. We gotta know about Tuka, man. He rest in peace too. It's just a whole bunch of killing going on, y'all. Yeah, but it's old right here. It's the pot is just stirred up. So it's a young boy, Tuka got killed. I think he got killed by a bus stop. And yeah, by tomorrow, you know. It's no disrespect or nothing. Y'all heard what they talking about. A lot of rappers is picking up the turn from Chicago. They smoking this and smoking that and using a young man name, which I feel is wrong. Yeah, and they lyrics. I think Chief Keef started it. We, nobody knew what he was, but everybody think, like, if you saying his name, it was like a certain type of weed or a certain type of, you know, a fashion or whatever. And they used his name. And uh, we found out, like, hold up, this is a real young kid got killed at 15. You know? But uh, the retaliation for him was O.D. Perry, who was well respected on the streets. Nobody expected him to allegedly get killed by a female, and the female they allegedly saying did it was Kyra. Well, uh, Hun Vaughn had a strange relationship where they went back and forth on Twitter as if Vaughn liked her, you know what I'm saying? Or she liked the Vaughn, but they really wanted to hug uh, each other. Well, unfortunately, um, yeah, Vaughn got the best of her. So this is where this guy, Old Block J. Hood story comes in as if when Vaughn handled his business, like Vaughn basically, he's saying, after Vaughn did, supposedly did what he did, allegedly did what he did, he ran to him, he's like, boy, you know what? I was at them boys at the party, da 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 You know what at them boys mean, like, da 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 He did what he did. Yeah, he caught the girl Kyra, or Kai, coming out the gate last, and yeah, he shot her up, and she's no longer with us. 
R.I.P. to her. Also, I'm Peter Vaughn, you know. Um, it's a lot of R.I.P. in it. Yeah. But Old Block act like, yeah, Old Block, J. Hood just act like, you know, Vaughn came to him tomorrow. Man, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, I got the girl Kyra. And basically, he's talking about what he did. So basically, Vaughn's not here. He's putting Vaughn, yeah, as the killer. You know, and both of them from dead. So, what are you teaching out of this message that you're pushing? It's no Christ in that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, what else could you be doing but clout chasing, in my opinion? Let the man rest in peace. Let the girl rest in peace. I mean, I don't get it. Like, <laughs> that's why I be having a hard time with religion sometimes. Because people. <sighs> It seems like they hide behind that, but still want the clout. Like, yeah, Vaughn talked to me. Yeah, he took the girl life and who, who, who. And then want to say at the end, you know what? I changed. At the time, I was happy because she was a nuisance and this and that. But I'm going to let him tell y'all. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. Yeah, just be respectful because I curse a bitch out. But here he goes, right here, right now. Oh, happened that day from your perspective really what happened just and, and and anytime i bet you you can go look at what i said on any interview when i said it on myself if if, if you watch me just through the totality i bet you well, i say every story time. the same well, way i probably add on a little bit more of what i could remember but I always say the same stories the same way, and that's how you always can know truth. But anyway, man, I'm sitting on the front of 6446. I can't remember. Dante Crib, 6444. So this must have been a 46. We were sitting on a 46, literally. And I'm just standing, man. I, I was just, I think I was just coming out of uh, Nene House. This is a lady house who I, I, I think I was standing at the time. And I was just standing, you know, just looking. I was just looking. And then Vaughn walked up to me, and I'm, I shook his hand. He like looked straight. And then I look straight, and I'm like, why? Why, why, why are you telling me to look straight? He like, look straight, and when I'm finna say to you, don't look at me after I tell you. So I'm like, I, I bet in my head, I'm like, like, what is this nigga finna tell me? But he literally say just like this. We, I'm looking straight, he man, why I just run up on KI? And um, he know why I just ran up on them niggas and caught, and caught KI, she was the last one running out of the gate. And in my head, I'm obviously, forgive me, I had the lack of knowledge. I didn't know what I knew now. You know, I had to grow up. And when I grew up, I put my childish games behind me, my childish mind. That game banging, all that BS, I put it behind me. So I'm just taking y'all into the mind of what I was thinking then. I was like, nigga, no way. Cause bro, KI was like a pest. Literally a couple days before that nigga, I remember her riding on a bike. Like, you know, taunting us, and nigga, we trying to chase her back on the block, but she get out of that skirt on the bike, she gone. And nigga, I, I, she was somebody that, like, you, we hate it. And it's sad, you know, even thinking about, talking about these stories, you know, in the newer me, bringing me back to the old, the old me, it's just like, it just always put me in a position, a state of mind, or a, a, a state of in my spirit, like, nigga, y'all was so evil. We were so young, we ain't even know how evil, but yeah, he told me, man, like, look straight ahead, man, He, I ran up on them niggas, called Chaotic, last one coming out of the gate, literally, and that's how, and then I'm, ooh, already, and I'm just in my head like, damn, for real, and sure enough, after he told me that Sirens came, Sirens had just hit, boop, they was just over there picking a the body up and whatever, and I'm just like, wow, fool, I was just like, damn, but you know, it wasn't, I wasn't saying damn like in a bad way. I was saying damn like finally. And and, and I hate that, but you know, I'm just to give the ultimate truth. Like, yeah, I wasn't always where I am now. And that's what God come to do. He kind of set the captives free. What is the captive? Those who are captive. You know, those who is rooted in sin, who live their life in sin, who live their life in evil. You feel me? Who you, the evil is what we are captured by. We in captivity with these chains around our neck that we don't even see, but it's the lifestyle. And he come to set all of us free from that lifestyle, man. We forgiven for all, even all the bads that I did, all the bads that y'all done. He want to set you free from it because who can better bring those out of darkness? Those who were in darkness can better bring those who are in it 
currently out because I know about it. And now that I see the, the greater light and I experience this and I like it shines so much. And now I see why we did what we did. Now I see why, how I was able to be tricked and, and things like that. So, but yeah, man, yeah, sad story. You know, I'm only adding an extra part to it because I feel remorse for even, you know, being happy that a life was taken, but that's the war that they got us living. We live in a war where when we kill another one that, that's on the hit list, nigga, like with Lil Jojo, when he died, we threw a party. That's the dysfunction we live in. That's the dysfunction we live in, and that's the dysfunction I'm currently now trying to slowly but surely break them barriers down, man, so we can know who we all are. Well, there you have it, you guys. Like I said, R.I.P. to Kyra, a.k.a. Kai. You know, I ain't got no skin in the game with no side. But we have a life loss here. That he's actually supposedly under Christ. There's certain things I feel like you shouldn't say if you're just that religious person. And he's kind of like going down memory lane about how King Von boasted and how he was happy that she got that child. Listen, brother, if you change, you change. You know, because what you're reflecting is like, it's like a boastful spirit that you was, oh, I'm with King Vaughn, oh, we got Kai, and then want to at the end, switch it up. Y'all saw that? But I'm not on it no more, I'm just, this and that, I'm glad I'm enlightened, but at the time, you're going to say the same thing? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. There's no change in you, brother, in my opinion. I don't care if you see Something back to me, because at the end of the day, if you change, you change. Certain stories ain't supposed to be mentioned. Let both of them folks rest in peace. What you mad that FBG Butter get more numbers than you? FYB J Main get more numbers than you? Now you wanted to speak this type of piece that's not godly. Like. I wish them boys would have beat you up your mo. If that wasn't a cloud chase move when they caught you in Arizona. Yeah. Because you're running your mouth too much. And I didn't never see you in like a video with King Vaughn. King Vaughn ain't had you like this. So who is you to tell a story? Yeah, they confirmed you from old block, but a lot of people say you're cat. Yeah, but I'm telling you, cat, if you think you're doing Christ's work or any religious work, that means peace. But you bring these stories to the forefront and they ain't gonna put Christ on the end of it. Oh, I changed now. Like that should be your beginning message in the first place, if that's what it is, you know? So in my opinion, I feel like you clout chasing everybody who riding with a little bit on the comments respectfully. Everybody who feel like he clout chasing, let me know in the comments respectfully. I don't ask everybody to go take my route, take my route. No, let's talk it up and talk it up, talk about it and see why you feel your way. I'm gonna tell you how I feel my way respectfully, you know what I'm saying? But in my opinion, yeah. Old block, J Hood, yeah. Yeah, come on, man. There's other things to talk about if you're really about Christ work or, you know, peace work or any other work because you're telling these stories and the way you glorify it at first and then want to try to take the glorification out at the end. Yeah, you don't move me none. You don't move me none. But let me know what y'all think in the comments, like I said, but always use your mind and think before you say, it. yeah, stuff in the past that glorified death. Because once you say it, like, how you gonna take that back? And then put Christ on the end, or Allah on the end, or Buddha on the end. Like, bro, your end is your beginning, your beginning is your end. So all I saw was what? A cloud chaser. But I'm going out hard the same way I came in. Oh, uh.